Income tax 2023-2024. Standard deduction tax software example. Get ready and some coffee because we're going to stop the tax man in his tracks with income tax preparation 2023-2024. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's okay, whatever. Because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our, trust me, I'm an accountant product line. Yeah, it's paramount that you let people know that you're an accountant. Because apparently we're among the only ones equipped with the number crunching skills to answer society's current deep, complex, and nuanced questions. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Here we are in our tax form 1040 example problem using Lacert tax software. You don't need tax software to follow along, but if you have access to tax software, it's a great tool to run scenarios with. You can also get access to the forms, schedules, instructions at the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. Starting off with our taxpayer, Adam Taxman, just trying to avoid a dang taxman. And he's living in 90210 Beverly Hills. We're going back to a single filer to start off with. We're focused in on the standard deduction, which is located on page one of the form 1040 line number 12. We looked at the standard deduction a bit when we thought about filing status because the standard deduction is one of the major components that will be adjusted with changes to filing status. So we'll do a similar kind of process here, but we'll add a couple other things we didn't do last time, such as if the individual is over a certain age to be able to get an increase in the deductions possibly, and as well as being blind, for example, which could uh, be items that can add a little a level of confusion to this general table here. So the general idea is the standard deduction would be taken if it's greater than the itemized deduction, which is quite more likely these days, considering simplification of the tax code or an attempt to simplify it a few years ago, increasing the standard deductions. The standard deduction amounts are listed on the left-hand side. Single my, uh, married filing separate is the 13850. You can double that to go to married, which kind of makes sense, 27700. Head of household, where you typically need a dependent in the middle, but there's more complexity to that. And one way you can see it is you can go to the plus to the uh, to the 1040 SR and, and that's for uh, tax return for seniors. Similar kind of thing, but a little bit different layout of the form. If you go to page four, it gives you your standard deduction chart. So now you have these added adjustments that need to be taking place if the person has one or two of the check boxes. Uh, checked off, which would indicate they're over uh, the 65 or uh, blind, which means you would only have two possibilities if single, but if married, now you have two people, both of which could check one or both boxes, depending on what applies. So you've got the one through four different kind of scenarios of the changes to the standard deduction. And then uh, the qualifying surviving spouse, now they have a marital status, but they're back to just having the two options because one spouse died and, and then you've got the head of household where you only have two options because there's one person, but there's different amounts because you're head of household instead of single and then married filing separately where now you have four people again, but they're filing separate returns. All right, so let's run some scenarios. We'll start off with the basic scenario, single and uh, not blind or over 65. So we have then 100,000 round number on the W-2 income. We've got then the standard deduction being pulled in at the 13,850, it being greater than the itemized deduction to get us to the taxable income 86,150. Let's mirror that over here on our Excel worksheet. So we've start back to the starting point. W-2 income pulling in from our schedule here, 100,000. No adjustments to income. Standard deduction is being pulled from our table down below and then we've got then the uh taxable the taxable income 
86,150. That ties out to what's here on the bottom line. We let the software do the tax calculation, 14,266. So I'll just type that in there, 14,266. We said that withholdings were 12,000. Therefore, after a slight penalty that they calculated, 2,309 is the tax owed 2,309 after the penalty. Okay. So let's let's then say that uh, that let's add one of those factors and say that he's blind. Let's say unfortunately Adam is blind. So we're gonna say boom. All right, let's go back on over and see what happens to the form. And so now we have a singular filer, a single filer still, but now we have this checkbox here for blind. And what happens? Still a hundred thousand up top, but. Uh, down below, now we have a standard deduction of 15,700. How did that happen? Well, you could go to the to the 1040 SR and look at that chart. There's the 157 right there. How can we put that in our little worksheet so I can see that when it comes up uh, in Excel so I can kind of double check and say what happened there? All right, so if I was to check this, I'd be like, okay, my standard deduction isn't fitting, doesn't work, and I can see why. And then I'm going to add my little table down here. Now I got this backwards. This should be a uh, single, single, uh, and head of household, I believe. And this should be, uh, the one that's married filing joint, I believe. And so let's switch those. And now we can see that if that was our starting point, then if they're single or head of household, there's another 1,850 per each of those items over 65 or blind. If they're married filing joint, it's another 1,500 per item. So I'm going to go up here and say, okay, that makes sense. I'll add this and say plus another 1,850. And that's what gets me up to that 15,007. And I can go back on over here and say that's 15,007. Now you could get to a more uh, uh, complicated or sophisticated Excel worksheet to do that manually, uh, to do that less manually, I, I guess, to automate that process. But I kind of like the idea of doing that because that makes me recalculate a pretty significant number and do a little bit of a calculation and say, okay, I see what's happening here. It was this 13,850 plus they had that one uh, blind situation. That's why it's going up to 15,007 to get to my, to my taxable income of 843 which is here. And then on page two, the tax is now calculated at 13,859. Uh, so now we're at 13,859 and 12,000 was still uh, the same there. So we get down to the uh, amount of 1,883 and 24 of the penalty. There's the 1,883. Okay, so there. Let, now we could say, well, what if they're over uh, the limit. So what did it say over here? It was, if I go back to page one to get the date so I can make them older than that date, 65. <laughs> let's see, we've got uh, 1959 was born before. So let's put 1958. So we're going to say born in 1958, let's say duh, 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 1958. Okay. Now when I jump back on over to my software, it jumps me from a form 1040 to a 1040 SR. So this is in essence going to give you much the same calculations, but a little bit different layout. So you can look at both of these, right? I can say there's my 100,000. And then on page two, we have the standard deduction 17550. Sometimes it's still easy, even though we're, we're going to be populating the 1040 SR uh, given the given the circumstances to look at the form 1040 still because it has the same layout you know that's why it's nice to have one form instead of five different forms that are all different but if you if you look at it here you could say okay there's the uh, were you born uh, before this one checked off and this one is checked off two items are checked off and that gets you to your 17550 I can find that on my chart by going to the 1040 SR page 4 single filer 17550 all right so that makes sense so let me go back to my 1040 and just if i mirrored that over here i would just say okay now this plus two of these items this plus this plus this two of those are now applied right and that gets me to the 17550 
which brings me to my my 82450 so if i go back on over here and say do, 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 do there's where am i uh, 82450 page number two is now at 13 452 so i'd say okay now we're at 13 452 taxes or the withholding 12,000 which gets me to the bottom line which now has a penalty of five dollars 1457 so five dollars 1457 okay so then let's go to head of household so let's go back on over and say let's bring this unblinded uh I have I have miraculously healed the blind here. So, the, and then we'll say that this is uh, 1977. Let's just say so they're not over 65. And let's add a dependent because that's usually what's necessary to make them uh, a a. Uh, and let's say the dependents on 01, uh, 15 to 20 let's say social security da, 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 and then son da, da, da. and then we're gonna say that marital status is now head of household head of the household i wasn't he i was head of the household when i was single too it's just that it was an easier household to manage back the back then i s feel like anyways head of household Sam, uh, Sam Taxman uh, is now the son, also trying to avoid the dang taxman, and now the standard deductions up to the twenty thousand eight hundred. So if I go back on over, that would mean okay, standard deduction is at the twenty thousand eight hundred. Boom, to get us to the taxable income seventy nine two hundred, seventy nine two hundred. Page number two then has the tax 11131 so 11131 and then i can get into the credit of the 2000 credit so i have an other credit 2000 for the child tax credit so that pulls in boom and then we go okay and then so that means that the the refund now 2869 2869 okay but what if he was blind what if he was blind then i go okay what if he was blind though then we can say boom and then if i go back on over to the first page standard deduction goes up from 22 to 22650 which would basically be i can mirror this by saying this plus another 1850 22650 bringing the taxable income to 77,350, 77,350. You can also see that on my chart, 1040 SR page four, where we're now talking about uh, head of household. So now 22,650, right? If one, of, one box was checked off, okay. Let's go back and say page two calculates the tax at 10,724, uh, 10,724. 2000 still on the deduction so now we're at 3276 is that right 3276 i think so let's say that he was they were he was older than 65 and so we're going to say what was the date on that 19 let's say 1958 so we're going to say okay what if he was born in 1958 so then we're going to say now You've got two of these check boxes uh, checked off. And so now the standard deductions up to 24.5, calculating that, that's just gonna be the 22 d -d plus another one, because both boxes are checked off, 24.5, bringing the taxable income to 75.5, 75.5. Page number two is now at the 10,317. I'm just gonna type that in, 10,317. And we still have the 2000 deduction there, I believe, bringing us, let's just jump down to the bottom, 3683. Give me the bottom line, 3683. That's the line at the bottom. Okay, let's go to married folk. Married folk. Let's bring them back up to married, marriable age, where people might want to marry him unless he's rich, and then you could get married at any time. We're going to say this is going to be uh, 2000, let's say, 1978 and then we're gonna say that 
Uh, did I, what did I have? The, I had the dependent set. Well, let's remove the dependent this time. That'll make it easier. Delete the dependent. And then we're going to go back on over here and say that he's married, filing joint. And back to the forms. So now we've got Adam and Jane Taxman uh, married filing joint. So if we scroll down, 100,000, we'll just keep it at the 100,000, keeping it even. And then the standard deduction is at 27.7. So now we're going to go, okay, standard deduction is back to married 20 or just married. We back, we're not back to it, married the first time. Uh, so that's 72.3. So 72.3, if we go to the second tab, we're at uh, the 8.239. So we're going to say that's the tax calculation, 8.239. We don't have any child, so let's get rid of Sam. Sam's not here no more. And then, so we're at the bottom line, 3761. Bottom line, 3761. Okay, so now we have the combos that can happen here because now there's two people that could be checking boxes off. So let's say, all right, let's do this one at a time. We'll go, what if Adam is blind? Adam is blind, but Jane is not. So now we have Adam's blind. So now we've got the 29,200. So how would we calculate that over here to be the 27,7 plus another, now we're on married filing joint, 1,500 to get us to the 29,200, is that right? 29200. It's also found on the SR form page four, married filing joint 29200, right? So now I could say, okay, so that means that taxable income 70,800. And so boom, that looks correct. Page number two, 8059. All right. 8059, 12,000, bottom line 3941. 3941, my coffee's done. Let's go back to the first tab and do another one. Let's say now that they're both blind. Uh, so they met, that's how they met. I don't know, I'm not gonna. <laughs> um, so what does that do? So now these two are checked off. So now the standard deduction is 30,007. How did we get there? Well, we go here and say, now I'm gonna add two of these. Another one. So 30,007, 693, 693, page number two, 7879. So 7879, 12,000, bottom line is the 3941. And uh, K Paso, 7879, 12,000. 7879 total tax. Oh, I hard coded this in here somehow. This should be this minus this plus this. Sorry about that. I made a mistake somewhere. Uh, 4121. 4121. Okay. So that's why you might want to lock those cells too. So people don't mess up your worksheet like yourself messing up the worksheet. All right, let's do another one. Let's say they're old. They're old now. So let's say uh, they're 65 is not old. Okay, whatever, whatever. You know what I mean? The 1958, let's go to 1958. So born, one of them born, let's say 1958. And then boom. And so now we've got three of them checked off. So that's hopefully not totally likely maybe if, uh, but uh three two two zero so i'm just going to say now i'm going to add another one of the 1005s to get us to the three two two zero so that's the 67 8 67 8 page number two tax at the seven six nine nine the seven six nine nine bottom line four three oh one four three oh one and then finally of course we could do the same for both of them. Why, why is he married to such a young lady? That's weird. Something's happening here. We're going <laughs> to, we're going to increase. She loves him. That's why. Okay. Let's go back on over and say, this is going to be that we have four of them. She loves that old blind guy. Okay. So then I'm going to double click on this and say, this is going to be plus 
another 1,500. That gets us to the 33,700. So now we're at the 66,3. 66,3, page number two is at the 7,519. So uh, 7,519 and bottom line 4,481 and the 4,481. Okay, I won't go into the married filing separately because we're going kind of long here, but uh, the, 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 you know, the married filing separately, similar idea, and same with the qualified surviving spouse, remembering that if someone, you can look at the tables to check those things out, but the married filing separately is similar to, the, to like the single in terms that you're going to go back to the standard deduction and then add, add the amounts from there. I won't get into that here. And then the qualifying surviving spouse, remember that that only applies in, possibly in the year after the death, meaning if two people are married and then the person dies, say in 2023, then they wouldn't possibly revert back to surviving spouse or single or head of household in 2023, they'd still be married. But in the following year, possibly if they have a qualifying dependent, then they might be able to hold on to the, to the qualifying status of qualifying surviving spouse instead of bouncing back to single or head of household, in which case you get the benefits of, of basically being on the marital side uh, of, of, of things, and that will have an impact on the standard deduction in a fairly predictable way at this point, I hope. So uh, that is that.